Hello and welcome to this short video. In this, one of the things you're going to need to know for your GCSEs is how to calculate the area of shapes. So what I've done is split the shapes into two separate groups. So this first video covers the square, the triangle and the rectangle. And so these three are probably the easiest of the three. Then we'll cover the other four in the next video. But let's start by looking at how to calculate the area of a rectangle. So if we, the basic rule for a rectangle is base times height, times height. Okay, so if we were given, for example, um, a base of, shall we say, 10 centimeters and a height of three centimeters, the lengths will be written in centimeters, millimeters, meters, etc. But our answer is always going to be in units squared. And that's key because if they ask you to write in the units and you don't put this, you'll miss out on the marks. <clears throat> Sorry. So our answer for the area of this rectangle would be three times 10. So 30 centimeters squared. Okay. If we were to look at um, say this rectangle is uh, let's say nine nine meters so our units have changed let's track a bit closer and we'll say it's by 12 meters our units have changed but our method hasn't so this time we're going to have base times height which is going to be nine times 12, which is going to be 108 centimeters. And once again, our units are going to be squared. Okay, so that's how you work out the area of the rectangle. What you may have is a question that says, um, let me type it in over here somewhere. I'll tell you what, sorry, bear with me half a second. You may have a question that says something along the lines of um, a rectangle has an area of, um, let's say, 24 centimetres squared. That's a pain. Pen, please. Okay, one length is six centimeters. Calculate the second length. Okay, so that's our question. Obviously the actual units may change, but what we already know is that base times length base times height, sorry, equals area, okay? So if we say that one of our lengths is six centimeters, so we'll say that this one is, the base is six centimeters. So six centimeters times the height equals area, oops, equals 24 centimeters squared. Okay. So all I've done there is taken our formula that we've used throughout base times height equals area. And then I've substituted in the six from here. So there, oh, sorry, missed. I've put that there and I've taken the area from here and popped it there. Okay, so that's where I've got those numbers from. Let's go like that. Okay, so now I know that six centimeters times the height equals 24. So all we need to do now is if we go area divided by base equals height. So all I'm doing is rearranging it. 24 divided by six equals that. Well, let's go like this, height, and that equals four. So the height of our rectangle is going to be four centimeters because 24, six times something equals 24. So 24 divided by six equals our height, which means it must be four centimeters. Okay, I hope that makes sense so far. 
Next, I'm going to move on to a triangle because this is literally the same as the rectangle, except we have to half our answer. So this time we've got the area of a triangle. Triangle, whoops, equals base times height. And that's all divided by two. Let's put the divide sign in. Okay, so if base times height divided by two. So this time, if we say that our height is five centimeters and our base is four centimeters, what we can do is work out five times four, which is the base times height equals 20, and then 20 divided by two equals 10. So the area of our triangle this time equals 10 centimeters squared. Okay. And again, like last time, if we were asked to work out the, um, if we were given the area and we are asked to work out the base or the height, what we'd do is say, say we're given an area of 50 centimeters. So 50, the area equals base times height divided by two. So let's pop that in. So they've told us that the area equals, I think I said 50 centimeters. And we'll say that they've told us the base equals 10, just to keep the numbers easy, times height. And that's got to be divided by two. So pop that like that. Okay, so what we've got to do is basically rearrange it so we've got the height by ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is two times 50. So that means we've got 100 centimeters squared. Sorry, just noticed. 100 centimeters squared equals 10 centimeters times height. Okay. I've been a mare. 10 centimeters times height. Okay. So what we need to do now is once again rearrange it. So if we divide both sides by 10, that because 10 times something equals 100 centimeters squared. So that means our answer is going to be 10 centimeters. Okay. Because 10 times 10 equals 100. Okay, that one's slightly trickier, but I hope it still makes sense. And then moving on to the next one, the last one. So I've got a big toolbar in the way. I don't know if you can see it. The area of the square is potentially the easiest, but also potentially the hardest. Every side of our square is always the same. So if I tell you that this side here is five centimeters, that means every side is going to be five centimeters. So this is also five centimeters. If we're asked to work out the area of the square, once again, it's base times height. Okay, so in this instance, it's going to be five times five, which would give us an area of 25 centimeters squared. Okay, what may happen this time is that you'll be told that my square has a base of four centimeters. What's its area? And so because the each side is the same, what we can do is literally just four times four, and that'll give us the answer 16 centimeters squared. Okay, because, because they told us the base was four centimeters, we know that the height is also going to be four centimeters. Okay, or the other thing they may do is, let me cover this up and give some more space, is they may tell us that the area of our square um, is, what should we say? Let's say 36 centimeters squared. Okay. Oh, that's not showing. Let's try again. It's 36 centimeters squared. And then they may tell us or ask us what is the length of one side. 
Okay, to work this out, what we need to do is square root the area. So in this instance, square root 36, and I got that from here. Okay, because that will tell us that something times something equals something squared, which in this instance equals six. Okay, so that would tell us that each length in this scenario would equal six. Okay, and so that would be our answer. And the reason we can work it out like that is because we know that each side is the same. So what we're looking for are two numbers which are the same that multiply together to make the area. And that's why we square root it. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, please do drop a comment in a message or comment in the comments below and I will do my very best to help. These are also part of um, a selection of revision notes for GCSE Maths Foundation level. If you want the, um, to be sent the revision notes which accompany these videos, I'll pop the link in the comments below in the comments below as well so you can access it. Like I say, any questions, please do ask. And my email address, if you want to get a hold of me and ask any questions, is it's a bit dark. So info that doesn't show. So info at Clara James tutoring .co .uk. Okay, hope that helps and good luck with your revision. Take care.